Hey there. So in Windows 10 Technical Preview Build 9926, Microsoft, for whatever reason in their infinite wisdom, has decided that the ability to resize the start menu is something we shouldn't have. However, the good people at winbeta.org have discovered in their also infinite wisdom how to fix this. It's pretty simple. We'll just follow the steps right there or watch me or do both. Doesn't matter as long as you do it if you want to. Right click, run. You're going to type in reg edit. As you can see, I've already done this before. You're going to click OK. It's going to ask you if you really want to open it up. You're going to say yes. Of course, you're going to say yes. Snap that to the side and then you're going to do the following. Follow this exact path and you'll have no problem getting there. You're going to open up H key current user. Then you're going to open up software. Then you're going to open up Microsoft. Scroll down a touch. Open up Windows. Windows. There we go. Then you're going to open up current version. Scroll down a touch more. Open up Explorer. And then you're going to open up Advanced by just clicking on it. You're going to right click. You're going to hit New. And then you're going to hit D word, not Q word. Make sure it's D word 32 bit value. Once you create that, you're going to rename it to Enable XAM I Start Menu. Easiest way to do that is just go to winbeta.org to this exact website. I'm hoping you can see the uh, link right there. I should probably put that in the uh, description down below, so check there, please. Or better yet, I'll just put this in the description down below. Uh, and you're going to copy it, and then you're just going to rename it, which I already did here. Right click rename, and then you're just going to paste that name into there. And it says restart Explorer. What they meant to say was restart the system. I restarted the Explorer, it didn't quite work. I restarted the system, worked fine. And it gave me the option to actually play with the start menu a little bit in terms of size and scale. If I want, I can also have the live tiles back by just pinning to the start menu, and I can even resize them a touch uh, to medium. I don't know why you'd want large, but yeah, some people do. I can't quite find that here, although small works for me. Or better yet, in the case of uh, this particular program, I can just unpin it from the start and have a nice, simple, easy, intuitive start menu, which doesn't actually take up my uh, too much screen real estate, which is important to me. So yeah, that's basically how you do it. Uh, again, uh, thanks to the folks at winbeta.org for figuring that one out. Props to them. I am just giving you a video preview on how to do it. Um, thanks and have a good day.